got the group together. You know, there had been a lot of scouting and recruiting efforts prior to the combine. And so prior to leaving down the floor, we got the group together. We talked about all the different guys that were on the draft list and the guys that we valued. Had a good combine, uh, had a lot of good conversations. We felt good about the guys that we valued. But as you go through the, the draft, you're trying to now evaluate who are the best players left. And then the only other factor that you're trying to include is now positional need. When the draft pick comes up, you're weighing how heavily you want to consider the positional need and how heavily you want to consider the best player available. You know, the Super Draft is the annual kickoff of our 20th season. And this is a big year. So I know that I speak for everyone in this room, for our club, from our club executives to our fans, uh, to those that are just true lovers of the game, that our league has come a long way in these 20 years and has accomplished far more than most people expected. The New York Red Bulls are now on the clock. With the 18th pick of the first round of the 2015 MLS Super Draft, the New York Red Bulls select from UCLA midfielder Leo Stultz. Leo, a few weeks ago, was getting out there that he did not want to come to MLS because he wanted to. He didn't want his destiny and where he went to be uncontrollable. Well, shortly after I got, I got into this position, uh, Leo reached out to me and, and let me know that he wanted to be in, in New York. And then he also had a relationship with the Youth Academy director in Salzburg, who used to coach him at 1860 Munich. It's my opinion that Leo is the most pro-ready player in the draft. He's so technically gifted and has such a great soccer mind, and that his adjustment process, I think, will be pretty quick. With the 18th pick of the second round of the 2015 MLS Super Draft, New York Red Bulls select from the University of California, forward, Stefano Bonomo. I was first introduced to Stefano back with the U18 national team. So when I was with the first team, I used to spend time going down to all the youth team. And I could see back then that he's, got a, he's a smart player, he's got good feet, he's a bigger guy, so he can play with his back to goal, but he's also fairly mobile and he can join into the attack. Myself and Jesse and, and all the staff are waking up every day, working very hard uh, to try to do some positive things for the club. So, um, you know, a little bit of time, but a lot of work to do. You know, the most exciting part for me is now getting the team together and, and now going down to Orlando and, and starting training. So uh, it's probably time to end this interview and get to work. <laughs>